Yo, what's up guys, this is Jake, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make some cool abstract looking stuff um, in uh, oh, Cinema 4D, and if I just go to my portfolio here, just, oh dear, um, Built it completely wrong, and that's wrong again. There we go. Right, if I just go to my portfolio, go to personal graphics, and we're going to be creating something that looks a little like this. Um, looks really, really nice, and it's re fairly, fairly easy to do, to be honest. So if we just go into cinema, and what we want to do is first go to our primitives I actually first we're going to go into our render settings go to output and put 1280 by um, yeah 12, uh, 720p on and I've just deleted them effects um, so we've got a large space and now we're going to go to our primitives and insert a play tonic and it just looks something like this just a shape we can edit and now what we're going to do, we, I'm going to do something I've not done before, but you can just mess around with things. What we're going to do is hit C on our keyboard to make it edit editable. There's three ways you can do it, by hitting C, right click, make editable, or clicking this little, ob um, this little oh, icon here, and it'll make it editable, and you'll get an editable tag. So... As it's editable, we want to make it um, abstract. So, if I just control Z that without it being editable, I'm just going to hit the segments two and then make it editable. Sorry, make your segments two. And now what we're going to do is change our view and leave it like this. We're going to go to our polygon tool. I'm going to go to our arrow and go to the arrow with a cube. I'm just going to hold in shift, drag all the way over, all the way over, all the way over, like that. And you'll see we've got it all covered on here, but already you can see that we haven't got it all covered, so you're always going to get this. You just want to go and find the block that isn't and do it. So we've got all our shape edited here. And now what we want to do is create it abstract. So we're going to right click and we'll just give it some extrude first. Now problem with what a lot of people do is they'll extrude and they'll think well nothing's happening it's getting bigger that's because you need to uncheck preserve groups if you, when you uncheck preserve groups it's gonna extrude like this we have got this little extrude here so what I'm gonna actually do is instead of doing actually yeah we will do an extrude like we said do a little one there and then we're going to right click again and go to bevel and already you can see just messing around with the bevel and the extrude we've got this I'm going to go to extrude again and just try it I've not done this before that actually doesn't look very good so I'm going to go to um, extrude inner and we've got something that looks like this that looks quite good for abstract just like a sphere but it's obviously not come from a sphere now you will look at that and you'll think that looks shocking it does you need to add ambient occlusion now <coughs> we've got this shape so if I just go into my materials panel I just want to get off the extrude file always make sure you go back to this by the way because if not you'll mess it up file new material and then we're going to create a not a blue yeah a blue light blue and we're just gonna leave it like that we're gonna add it to our platonic and when we render this out again we've got this again looking shocking so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a light just come out here bring it up so we've got a light if we render this out again again not very good if we go to our light and go to shadow click shadow map soft now when we render we've got some shadows 
forming and you can see we've got one side of it is shown one side isn't so what I'm going to do is just add another light up top I'm going to just decrease the intensity and we've got this now what we're going to do is go into our render settings go to effect ambient occlusion I'm going to put I'm going to leave it as it is actually for the purpose of the video and I'm going to render and come back when it's done right it's rendered and you'll see that it's started to look a little better only a little but that's because we haven't actually done much there's not much ambient occlusion on it so what we're going to do is click out of this go to our effects again ambient occlusion I'm going to change the maximum ray length to 160 as you know 175 and what we're going to do is increase the contrast to 35% now I'm going to render it again and come back once again and we'll see what this looks like. So uh, it's rendered and you can see that it looks a lot better. It actually gives it a more 3D look. We've got um, different shadows forming in between each like pane panel um, and it just gives it a whole lot better look so that's just a basic abstract shape you can do and then when you like on my deviant art that's photo edit um you can just i just added some that flare's stupid i don't know why that's on there but um i just added some text uh just just to finish it off but the the photoshop part where the text was from that's um that's no that that's nothing that's just text that's all it is so i'm not saying the photoshop part's any good because it isn't it's the 3d part that is it looks quite decent again some um abstract that's a different thing um but yeah thanks for watching and be back with another tutorial shortly